Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, Fast X. So, in this movie, over many missions against impossible odds, Dom Toretto and his family have outsmarted, outnerved, and outdriven every foe in their path. Now they confront the most lethal opponent they've ever faced. A terrifying threat emerging from the shadows of the past, who's fueled by blood re re revenge and... It, who is determined to shatter this family and destroy everything and everyone that Dom has loved forever. Um, so, without going into spoilers, um, I, I gotta say, this movie was a lot of fun. It wasn't quite as, as fun as some of the other movies in the franchise, but I really enjoyed Fast Sex. I thought it was a, a really entertaining movie and everything. Uh, it, it kept me on the edge of the my seat the entire time and it flew by really fast like like I knew the movie was almost two and a half hours and it sure didn't feel like it and everything like, like by the time right as it was ending and stuff I was like really this is where we're going to end at because it leaves off on a bl big cliffhanger without spoiling anything um, I I'm really curious to see what they do with the next one but I, I can't wait to see where things go but the way this one left off I'm not going to watch any trailers for uh, Fast 11 or th or 12 uh, I want to just go in knowing what not knowing what's going to happen and everything but I will say that this one doesn't have as much of the f over the top stunts and stuff that you expect from the Fast franchise like uh, like some of the previous movies do um, and everything they, they were pretty careful with this movie after the backlash the last one perceived that they scaled it down a, quite a bit and everything and that, that's a plus and a negative for me yeah, I, I like that they tried to focus more on the story and not as much on the action but at the same time the over the top action is part of what I love about the Fast franchise so that's kind of a mixed thing for me um, but I will say that all of the cast are once again great in here and there's some new faces uh and here, Brie Larson and Jason Momoa, who both are pretty good in here. Brie Larson uh, is a small role, but she's really good in the little bit we get her. I hope we get to see her more in the next couple. And Jason Momoa as the villain is just absolutely great. He is uh, really fun in this movie. Like, you can tell he is having a blast with this movie. He's, like, so over-the-top and campy. And he is the 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 type of villain that these type of movies have always deserved it's the type of villain I've wanted to see in these movies it's just really hammy and over the top and having a blast with it and Jason Momoa is great in here and I'll go as far as to say that I like Jason Momoa in this movie more than I have in any movie I've ever seen him and he is just so much fun and way uh, way more fun than he is in Aquaman and stuff and he, he, he's great as Aquaman you can tell he has a blast playing that character especially in the Justice League movie um, Zack Snyder's Justice League I don't I'm not referring to Whedon's movie that movie wasn't very good um, although Jason Momoa was one of the highlights of that movie too but he's really great in this one he, he, you could tell he was having a blast and I, I hope we get to see him in more roles like this because he is fun to watch when he's going over the top and being campy and stuff and everything everybody else is being all serious around him and he he just looked like he was having a blast doing this movie and everything and there's some cool cameos in here too from uh characters that that you we've seen from previous fast movies and stuff that were pretty cool and the opening is pretty pretty cool and everything I, I will say that the trailers do show a little bit too much but not not enough to ruin the movie either though so, and there were some unexpected surprises along the way, too. So, if you're a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, I, I definitely say I'd recommend it. If you're tired of the franchise, you might not enjoy it as much as some of the other movies. But if you're like me, who just love this franchise, you'll probably like it. So, anyway, uh, I'd, give the fa I'd give Fast X a B+. Um, 
it's a really enjoyable movie and uh, I can't wait to see what happens with uh, Fast 11 or Fast X Part 2 whatever they're going to call it um, I can't wait to see what they do with it and everything but th this was a, a really uh, good way to, to to start a new trilogy it left me wanting more for sure and everything uh, I know we're getting to the end of the road with this franchise but I'm not quite ready for it yet um, I, I've enjoyed this franchise uh, off and on for the last 22 years so uh, following all these characters all this long I'm excited to see what they do next and everything so uh, anyway uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Fast X and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody